Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to learn how to calculate the titration curve for complexometric titration before equivalence point, at equivalence point and after equivalence point. And we'll see how to calculate the concentration of all the species present in the solution at equivalence point, beyond equivalence point or before equivalence point. So let's begin. This is a very first problem where uh, the, they are asking calculate the titration curve for titration of 50 ml of 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar cadmium 2 plus with different volume of titrant. The titrant is EDTA here. So they have given the analyte uh, molarity and volume and different volume of titrant along with its molarity at pH 10. Conditional stability constant for the complex is given 1.1 into 10 to the power 16 at pH 10. As we know, the conditional stability constant is pH dependent. So it will be a constant for respective pH. Okay, for each pH, the Kf single prime value will be different. So let's see. First, how much volume of the titrant is required at equivalence point that we will find out. Okay, so how you can put the same formula like M1V1 is equal to M2V2. So you can see M uh, metal, volume of metal is equal to volume of titrant and molarity of titrant. Okay, we need to find out the vol uh, volume of EDTA, right? That is a titrant. How much amount of titrant is required? Okay, at equivalence point. So we are rearranging this equation in this form. The data is given to you. Okay, we'll put the data here. Molarity of EDTA is given 0 0.01 and we'll get the volume of EDTA 25 ml. It means at 25 ml, you will get the equivalence point for this titration. That means for 0 ml is the starting when you haven't started doing titration. That means beginning 5 ml is before the equivalence point and 30 ml is after the equivalence point. So four stages are given here for the titration. We'll see first zero ml at a start. When you haven't added EDTA, so you have complete solution of 50 ml of 5 into 10 to the power minus 3 molar of metal, right? So the same concentration of the metal we will be considered here. Okay, so we know the formula since we'll be calculating to plot the titration curve here P cadmium. Because here the metal is given cadmium, so we'll be calculating P cadmium, which we'll be plotting with respect to the volume of EDTA. Okay, so our object is calculation of the P cadmium for different volume of EDTA. Okay, so P cadmium is, is equal to minus logarithm of concentration of cadmium plus. Okay, so this is the same formula like pH is equal to minus logarithm of H plus. So concentration of cadmium 2 plus is given. We'll put the same value here and we'll find before you start the titration, the P cadmium is 2.3, okay, which is acidic. Now, before equivalence point, because the equivalence point will come at 25 ml, 5 ml is given. We have excess of cadmium 2 plus, right? Compared to EDTA, you have excess of cadmium 2 plus at 5 ml. So we can write the millimoles of metal minus the millimoles of the titrant divided by the total volume. Okay, by using this formula, you will find out the, so here uh, you will find out the concentration of the metal. Here the data is given. You have to just put the value of uh, volume of EDTA 5 ml for this case and the concentration of the cadmium, you got it here. Then you can put the formula minus logarithm of this concentration 2.43 that is before equivalence point. At equivalence point, we know the formula conditional stability constant which is applicable to calculate the concentration uh, uh, calculate the concentration at equivalence point and beyond the equivalence point that is after the equivalence point. So we can use the formula to calculate the concentration of the species at equivalence point and uh, how much amount of cadmium Y2 minus will be formed? The amount of which is equal to the cadmium 2 plus, right? So we can write 
that the complex has been formed with respect to the concentration of the metal we started right so we can say m1 v1 divided by total volume v1 plus v2 so m1 v1 the molarity of the metal is given volume is given divided by total volume you have to take 50 for metal plus 25 for the tight range and you can find out the concentration of the complex right for this formula we need the concentration of the complex and then we need to calculate the concentration of these two species right how we can find out so after this at equivalence point the complex has been formed okay and uh, we can see this is kind of a dissociation reaction we can assume that this entire cadmium is converted to this complex if you imagine a negligible amount is left that is considered x so here we can write down cadmium 2 plus and y4 minus as xx the concentration since uh, we can ignore this being a very negligible amount compared to 3.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 we can write this equation like that right where condition of formation constant is given in the question which is kf single prime is equal to the concentration of the complex we have already calculated so we'll write down 3.33 into 10 to the power minus 3 we will ignore the x because being negligible and instead of cadmium 2 plus and concentration of the edta we will represent it by xx so you can find out the x value which is equivalent to the concentration of the cadmium 2 plus in this case and you found the concentration of the cadmium 2 plus at equivalence point once you calculate it you can put in the same formula and find out the p cadmium value which is 9.26 alkaline right basic at equivalence point so we got the three figures now at 30 ml that is considered as after equivalence point will be having excess of titrant right and the same formula is applicable after equivalence point also to calculate the concentration of the metal now to find out the cadmium y2 minus we have the same formula m1 v1 divided by v1 plus v2 m1 v1 is given now V2 is here 30 ml. So you have calculated this species concentration. Okay, complex concentration. Now to find out the concentration of the EDTA. Okay, to find out the concentration of the EDTA, which is now in excess, right? The titrant is in excess here. 25 ml, the complex has been formed. 5 ml is in excess. So we can write down how much excess of EDTA is present by using the same formula with respect to the total volume. The values are given here. Okay, for 30 ml of volume of EDTA, you can find out the excess of EDTA is 6.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 molar. So you got how much excess of uh, this is present, right? So you got the concentration of EDTA, you got the concentration of complex, conditional stability constant is given now you put the values in this formula to calculate the concentration of the metal right we have kept the values to find out the concentration of the cadmium 2 plus and we got it here you can find out the p cadmium that is 15.34 so in that way we have calculated the titration curve for the above problem so this is the way you can calculate for the other problems as well, similar kind of problems. So this is our next uh, problem where they are asking you to uh, calculate the concentration of free calcium 2 plus in a solution of 0.1 molar complex at pH 10 and at pH 6. Since alpha 4 is dependent on pH, you have different value of alpha 4 at each pH right Kf that is formation constant is given for this complex so how to solve this they are asking you to calculate the concentration of free calcium so this is the equation the formation of uh, the complex right this is the formation of com complex and we know the relationship between the formation constant the alpha 4 which is a species 
the tetra protonated uh, ligand and the conditional stability constant okay so this is a relationship kf single prime is equal to alpha 4 into kf now at ph 10 you can calculate the conditional stability constant alpha 4 is given 0 0.30 formation constant is given 5 into 10 to the power 10 you got it 1.5 into 10 to the power 10 similarly you can calculate for ph 6 and you will find out the conditional stability constant. You can see here as the pH is decreasing here from 10 to 6, the conditional stability constant also decreases. And so the sharpness of the endpoint will decrease. Okay, so there comes a question effect of pH on the titration curve. You can uh, give this as an example there. So you can show as the pH is decreasing here, the formation constant the conditional stability constant will decrease and so the sharpness of the endpoint will decrease so this is a dissociation equation of this more, more complex concentration of the complex is given 0.1 we can consider x amount is uh, dissociated and xx is a concentration of the respective species put the same formula at ph 10 first we will find out Conditional stability constant we have calculated 1.5 into 10 to the power 10. You have this figure. We know x is negligible. We can put this like this. And you have found the concentration of the calcium which is 2.6 into 10 to the power minus 6 molar at pH 10. Okay. So, they are asking concentration of free calcium 2 plus at different pH. So, we found at 10. Now, pH 6, we have calculated the conditional stability constant. The rest is the same. You will find out X. That is calcium concentration, which is different at pH 6. So, in this style, you can solve this problem where they are asking you to calculate the concentration of the metal. This is our third problem where they are asking you find the concentration of all the species in the solution at equilibrium okay at equilibrium resulting from mixing 50 ml of 0.2 molar calcium 2 plus with 50 ml of 0.1 molar edta so the analyte is given millimoles of analyte and millimoles of a titrant at ph 10 and alpha 4 and formation constant value is given. So, how to calculate this? Again, the same equation for the formation of the complex and at equivalence point, we can use this formula, the same formula to calculate the concentration of all the species. We know the amount of the complex formation is equal to the amount of the metal we started with, right? So, we can put the same formula M1 V1 is equal, divided by total volume to find out the concentration of the complex. This is the same method we have used to solve in the first problem. Then again, we once it is formed and we found it 0.1, you can again consider the X is uh, the concentration of the respective species which is very negligible. So you can put in the same formula. This is a formation constant, the alpha 4 which is considered to be the con uh, con uh, this uh, conditional stability constant and in the same style you can find out the value of x that is calcium 2 plus and similarly the concentration of the edta so in that way you found all the species present at equilibrium how much is present okay like concentration of complex concentration of the metal and concentration of the titrate this is our last problem in complexometric and uh, you can find here calculate the molar Y4 minus which is they are asking for EDTA titrant concentration in 0 0.02 molar EDTA solution buffered to a pH of 10. So how to solve this? You should know the relationship alpha 4 which is the tetra reprotonated uh, species belongs to this 
is equal to y4 minus divided by the total analytical concentration of EDTA. So this is the formula. They are asking you the molar concentration of y4 minus, right? They are asking this. And they have given you the concentration 0 0.02 of the EDTA. Fine. And at pH 10, alpha 4 is a constant. So you should know what is the value at pH 10. It is 0.35. We have solved so far two, three problems. And it, we saw at pH 10, alpha 4 is 0.35. Five. Now you know the values, just put it in the formula, you will get the concentration of the species, okay, Y4 minus and this was our question they were asking you to calculate. So I hope uh, we have covered the different style of uh, problems based on the uh, concentration and uh, the P metal calculation for the complexometric titration. You can solve some more problems based on the same concept. Till then, bye.